Oh my god, that's the first time I've made that jump. Oh god. Crouch jump break. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Short D42. Um, I'm trying to make a new intro graphic for the show, and for the most part, I wield the band hammer. And as you know, I am Vasher, and I will be your host again for part three, which has finally been released after much problems and trial and error and all sorts of other gobbledygook that I really don't feel like getting into right now. As you can see, we have Rebel Guitars here and Ariel Shadow Jin, which will be coming in after we get out of Blackout, because he does not have the legendary map pack. And we'll have the full cast. So I hope you enjoy part three, and um, let's begin. Rebel, how about a word? Um, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I know this is an emotional subject, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hello. You just caught me doing the thing that I love to do. Messing around in Forge. Yes, that's a quote from Digital Fear, shut up. Okay. Um... Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go over in more detail um, respawn points. And because I remember from my last episode after watching it, I was pretty much speaking utter garbly looking jittery, gibberish. So I'm going to redo that and hopefully it helps people more with that subject. And we're going to start getting into more complicated things as we go into how to I'm, uh... weld, how to, um, Geo merge objects. So with that, um, let's begin. What do you say, Rebel? You want to begin? Oh my God! What are you, what are you doing, Rebel? Rebel? Ah! And this. That hammer says no. Ah, I love you, that hammer. I love you, burn. No. I might score me, he's got a score me, this is good. Oh, 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 Spawn points are used in most maps to help um, obviously make you spawn inside the map. But, as you can see, it just spawns. But with that being said, the spawn point doesn't actually start you on it. You start outside the map most of the time for whatever reason. And that's because this only specializes 
for when you die. It does not specialize for when you start the game. So we'll toss that over here. We get the starting point. This little sucker can only be accessed if you press start and find change game type. Change the game type to whatever game type you're planning on making this map for. And then in the spawn point menu, which I'm gonna call it thing, you will find a bunch of new kinds of spawn points, including this. This not only um, helps you spawn if you die, but is assured to start you on it. So, say the game just started, you would spawn right here, as opposed to on this. So that's the difference between those, and you can obviously tell the difference because there's a giant shiny thing on top of it. And now, for the third spawn point we're going to talk about is the respawn area, which is this giant, shiny thing right here. Um, it's pretty hard to get used to, but really helps. Unlike spawn points and starting points, it's basically a mass spawn point. Every single spawn point you put inside this giant array of light will be first priority or whatever priority you set them to. As you can see, although there are multiple spawn points outside this box, every time someone dies, they're going to spawn here unless the spawn point is blocked because it's inside this giant shiny light. You can also edit it by pressing X while it's highlighted and change its shape to a box or cylinder. Um, you can change what team it belongs to size of it, and all sorts of other little doodads that really don't make much of a difference. And that is a basic reconstruction on spawn points. 